established in 1999, V Groups began its journey as a specialized service provider in the Occupational Health Services (OHC) sector, operating in the South India region with a base in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh. In 2005, the company expanded its offerings to include equipment services, demonstrating a commitment to adaptability and growth. Over the years, V Groups further diversified its portfolio, introducing equipment rentals and comprehensive maintenance services, including AMC, Annual Maintenance Contract, and CMC, Comprehensive Maintenance Contract, for machines. With a pan-India presence and a global footprint in Dubai and the United Kingdom, V Groups has positioned itself as a versatile and reliable player in the equipment services industry. Allergies and Allergic Rhinitis Introduction Allergies and allergic rhinitis are common conditions that significantly impact the quality of life of affected individuals. Allergic rhinitis, also known as hay fever, is an inflammatory condition of the nasal mucosa triggered by allergens such as pollen, dust mites, animal dander, and mold. It is characterized by symptoms such as sneezing, nasal congestion, runny nose, and itchy eyes. Allergies can manifest in various forms, including allergic rhinitis, asthma, atopic dermatitis, and food allergies. Etiology The etiology of allergic rhinitis involves a complex interaction between genetic and environmental factors. It occurs when the immune system mistakenly identifies harmless substances, allergens as threats and mounts an exaggerated immune response. Upon exposure to an allergen, sensitized individuals produce immunoglobulin E, Eg, antibodies, which bind to mast cells and basophils. Subsequent exposure to the same allergen leads to the release of histamine and other inflammatory mediators, causing the symptoms of allergic rhinitis. Epidemiology Allergic rhinitis is one of the most common chronic conditions worldwide, affecting approximately 1,030% of the global population. It is more prevalent in industrialized countries, where environmental factors such as pollution and lifestyle changes play a role. The condition often begins in childhood or adolescence and can persist into adulthood. The prevalence of allergic rhinitis is higher in individuals with a family history of allergies or asthma. History and Physical Patients with allergic rhinitis typically present with a history of recurrent episodes of sneezing nasal congestion, clear rhinorrhea, runny nose, and pruritus, itching, affecting the nose, eyes, or throat. Symptoms may be seasonal, occurring during specific times of the year when certain allergens like pollen are more prevalent, or perennial, persisting year-round due to indoor allergens such as dust mites and pet dander. Physical examination findings may include pale or bluish, swollen nasal mucosa, clear nasal discharge, Nasal crease, a horizontal line across the nose from frequent rubbing infraorbital dark circles, allergic shiners, under the eyes. Conjunctival injection and tearing. Evaluation. The diagnosis of allergic rhinitis is primarily clinical, based on the history and physical examination. Allergy testing, such as skin prick tests or serum specific EGA tests, can help identify specific allergens responsible for symptoms. Additional evaluations may include nasal endoscopy, to visualize the nasal passages and rule out structural abnormalities. Imaging studies, sinus rays or CT scans if sinusitis is suspected. Eosinophil count, elevated levels in nasal secretions or blood may indicate an allergic response. Treatment, management. Management of allergic rhinitis includes allergen avoidance, pharmacotherapy, and immunotherapy. Allergen avoidance, reducing exposure to known allergens is the first step in managing allergic rhinitis. This may involve using air purifiers, keeping windows closed during high pollen seasons, and frequent cleaning to reduce dust mites and pet dander. Pharmacotherapy Antihistamines, oral or intranasal antihistamines are effective in reducing symptoms like itching, sneezing, and rhinorrhea. Intranasal corticosteroids, 
These are the most effective treatment for controlling nasal inflammation and are considered first-line therapy for moderate to severe allergic rhinitis. Decongestants, oral or intranasal decongestants can provide short-term relief from nasal congestion but should be used with caution due to the risk of rebound congestion with prolonged use. Leukotriene receptor antagonists, these may be used as an adjunctive therapy, especially in patients with concomitant asthma. Immunotherapy, allergen immunotherapy, subcutaneous or sublingual, is indicated for patients with severe symptoms not adequately controlled by pharmacotherapy. It involves the gradual introduction of increasing amounts of the allergen to induce tolerance. Differential Diagnosis The differential diagnosis of allergic rhinitis includes Non-allergic rhinitis, includes vasomotor rhinitis, irritant-induced rhinitis, and gustatory rhinitis. Sinusitis, chronic or acute inflammation of the sinuses, often presenting with similar symptoms. Nasal polyps benign growths in the nasal passages that can cause obstruction and congestion. Deviated nasal septum, a structural abnormality that may cause similar symptoms. Upper respiratory tract infections, viral or bacterial infections can mimic allergic rhinitis. Pertinent studies and ongoing trials. Recent studies in allergic rhinitis have focused on understanding the genetic basis of the condition, developing new biologic therapies targeting specific inflammatory pathways, and evaluating the long-term effectiveness of allergen immunotherapy. Ongoing trials are exploring the role of novel antihistamines, monoclonal antibodies, and combination therapies in the management of allergic rhinitis. Complications Untreated or poorly managed allergic rhinitis can lead to complications such as sinusitis, chronic inflammation of the nasal passages can predispose individuals to sinus infections, otitis media, eustachian tube dysfunction secondary to nasal congestion can lead to middle ear infections, asthma exacerbation, allergic rhinitis is a known risk factor for asthma, and poorly controlled rhinitis can worsen asthma symptoms. Sleep disturbances, nasal congestion and post-nasal drip can lead to difficulty sleeping and fatigue. Consultations Patients with severe or refractory allergic rhinitis may benefit from consultation with an allergist or immunologist for specialized testing and management. An otolaryngologist may be consulted if there are concerns about structural abnormalities or if surgical intervention is considered. In summary, allergic rhinitis is a prevalent and often debilitating condition that requires a comprehensive approach to management, including identification of allergens, appropriate pharmacotherapy, and consideration of immunotherapy in selected cases.